G'day folks, right, look what I got in the post, Rocks Rises, the two inch risers for the Triumph Tiger, now I've already got an inch rise in it, which I find is still too low, so I've gone for the two inch, but what I'm going to do is try fit them to the risers I've already got on the bike to give me three inch and see if the bars or the wires are long enough to fit. If not, I will just have to take out the one inch and just have two inch risers. Alrighty, so let me set everything up and I'll get back to you. Rightio folks, first of all I haven't got any white tape so I've had to use some black tape. So you put some tape, you'd use white tape or blue, just so you know where the handlebars line up and make sure they're central. Alright so I've just got some black tape there, now I know that <clears throat> I've just got to line it up to the side of the black tape and all done. First of all you put a rag on your bike so when you lift the bars off it's not going to scratch your tank. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to undo all these. I need a good clean actually. I need a good wire brushing. See all the gunk you get in there? So we'll give them a good wire brushing. When we're finished. Right here, peoples, move your bars out the way. I've used a bit of an hockey strap down there to hold it out the way. Now, they're the Triumph risers. So you only get about 20 mil, okay? And I'm still finding that it's not high enough. Right, so what I'm gonna try and do though, is leave them in there. These are the Rocks riser. I've had these before and they are bloody brilliant and this is two inch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in there right? because with these rock risers you can either have your that way that way that you know that and you can still move your bars in and out of here as well okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get these handlebars into that rise and see if I can without having to take that off and have it to there so I want to try and get a three inch rise instead of a two. So we're just going to have to see how it goes. Alright, I've got to clean the bolts up and I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Right there guys, so I'm just screwing this down. I won't screw it down nice, I won't screw it down tight because I want to see if I to get me bars in there first. So we'll just do that. One of them's gone really, really rusty for some reason. What you do, then that's it. You got to, but they are a pain in the ass to put on because right, so we'll just nip them up like that. All right. So what you do is you grab your rocks riser, and that normally goes over your handlebar. So just imagine that's your handlebar. Goes in there like that, up in there like that. Just let that, just let that drop down, so you can get your screws in there. All the way to there. Same with that one. That's not all the way in. So. There's a 
that here. This is only a tester. I want to see if I can get it as a three inch rise. Before you up, tighten these up, you've got to get these in the right angle. So we grab the handlebars. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It doesn't seem too tight. done these up yet. This is just to see I'm taking all them bolts out again and put a bit of grease on them. I know you shouldn't put grease, you put Loctite. But when the hole's getting rusty and what the bike's fucking 12 months old, nothing I can do about it. But I will be wrapped if I can get a three inch rise out of this. It's looking good though people, it's looking fucking good. Gotta make sure none of the cables are pulling and all that. The thing is with these rock risers I can move that move this rock riser forward to give it a little bit more cable. And then just bring the bars back a tiny bit. It's just a, a bit of a Yeah, what peoples? That's not too tight. That's not too bad. Okay. I don't know about that. Pretty, pretty tough. It feels. These these are all right. I'm more worried about these. That's pretty loose. Let's take that off. Let's move the camera, eh? Chappy. One happy chappy. So that's them there. Rocks risers. They're the best. They're the absolute best. I've had them heat I've had them before on my old tiger, so what I'll do is um I'm gonna take all that off again and I'm just gonna clean up the threads and all that sort of stuff and I'll get back to you at the end. Okay. Radio peoples, done. So That's them there. Yeah. 
They were boarded up three inches. Now, what I've done is put a screwdriver from here to here to make sure I can get one in there. Make sure I can get one in there. It seems to keep it in line with this. But you don't do it up tight because when your handlebars go in there, they will straighten these up. Right? So you tighten this up, tight as you can. Then you go up to this side and keep this bolt out because you can't get to it otherwise. And you've got to tighten them up. It's a bit of fiddling around. But I had to cut an Allen key to do it, so it's a bit of stuffing around. But yeah, so we'll go okay, take it for a test ride, and we'll see how it goes. But I've got three inches out of it. The cables aren't, the cables have still got heaps, as you can see. So I've still got shit loads of room, but I think three inches would probably be, um, would be the best, you, would be the highest you'd go on it. So what I'll do is I'll catch you shortly out on the bike. Right, catch you. Rightio folks, let's go test these risers out. It does feel good. Feels heaps better. I'm actually leaning back, not fucking forward. Oh, bars could probably come forward just a tad, I reckon, but until I've taken it for a big ride. But where they are at the moment, when I stand up, they're in a the perfect spot. Absolutely perfect. Before I was leaning over, now I'm straight up. The difference is unbelievable. Three inch rise, amazing, which is good. It is very comfortable. Just got to adjust my mirrors, which I forgot to do. And it feels like I'm sitting in the bike now. Doesn't feel like I'm sitting on top of it, leaning over the fucking thing. Feels like I'm actually sitting in the bike. So it's taken a three inch rise for that to happen, for that to, to be the case. Because I hate leaning over bikes. So I don't, that's why I've never, never been able to hack a sports bike because it just fucking hurts my bloody back and stuff. So I'll just adjust these mirrors. Could probably come down a bit more. Yeah. No, they're really good. They're really good. I reckon the bars could probably come back about two mil. But I'm leaving them there for now. Because I don't really want to put too much pressure on those cables. Everything's fine now, but if I start bringing the bars forward, it might get a little bit tighter. But where they are now, I reckon will suit me to the to a T. There's a lot of room under there now, as you can see. Going up three inches, not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, I reckon I could do fucking a, a thousand Ks a day on this bike now. Easy. With these handlebars the way they are and the height, easy fucking peasy. Nah, that is awesome, guys. That is awesome. It is for now, so we'll see how we go on a long ride. But standing up, that's perfect, standing up. Because when we're doing Newton and Dada, you've got to be standing up for fucking 200 k's, just about. Yep, love it, fucking love it, best 200 bucks I've ever spent. Awesome guys, awesome. Alrighty, 
We'll catch you next time on Dino Badness. And that's a good bye. All right, ride safe. Catch up.